Are you still celebrating the 60th anniversary? We are. It's uh, we're going to be doing that for the next year. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> We're going to do everything we can to do promotions around that 60 years. Now you've been with the Barrel Star for 19 years. I have, yes. I started with them uh, with the first property we opened in Mexico back in 1997. Where was that? In the Riviera Maya. When it was, it wasn't even the Riviera Maya. It was just considered south of Cancun. And it was a two-lane highway. Now it's, you know, an expressway going down there, and there's a multitude of hotels. And. What happened after that first property? Give me a little feel of how this all kind of grew to what it is today. Well, we did so well with Mexico that we were able to go into the Dominican Republic and expand there as well. We introduced Punta Cana as the new Caribbean to the American market. Which year was that? That was 98, it was right after that. Wow, very early, yes. Very early. Was the airport there yet? The airport was just a Palapa. Wasn't much to it other than that, and uh, there was only a handful of hotels, and all inclusive didn't really exist either. It was uh, hotels that had uh, breakfast and dinner included, but nothing else. So we also introduced all inclusive into the Dominican Republic back in those days as well. So we did well there, and then of course Mexico, look, that whole area of Riviera Maya started to grow, and we built a big complex now. It's called the Paraíso Complex, where we have five hotels and there we were able to handpick the location our owner personally walked the grounds the beach area picked out exactly where we wanted at the resort and now we have five hotels with a golf course we've got all three different levels of our resorts in that one little area it's a, it's a great great location uh, which markets were you filling the, the, the those hotels back in the 70s 80s North America or, or Spain? Or? It was Europe. It was, it was the Europe. German market. The German market Germans. was very strong. Yeah, they liked that whole area because there was nothing else around it. It was very isolated, you know, calm, peaceful, quiet. So now it's... And then it started becoming a North American uh, because, like I said, the, the expansion in that area. Right. You know about Punta Cana or Mexico? Well, the, whichever you want to take. Punta Cana was, all, was the Europeans and the Americans that started coming in the early 90s. But Mexico, the Americans were going forever, but that whole area of Rio Maya was European dominantly, and then the Americans started going there. And now the Americans are the dominant uh, presence of the uh, in Riviera Maya. Jamaica, I know you're all over Jamaica. As well, Jamaica was one of those places where we thought we had to be in order to grow our brand. And that we also had to make sure we picked the right location. We wanted to build something from the ground up with our, our uh, type of hotel that we like to build. And we built three hotels there as well, in Rose Hall Beach, which Rose Hall is a beautiful area with three golf courses, great location, 10 minutes from the airport. So you can't be, you know, where we're positioned. And which years were those that, that these properties were added, uh, roughly? Jamaica came in around 2005, around that area. We went into Jamaica, and it's expanded now like I said, we have three hotels. We finished the third hotel, and I believe it was around 2008. And where else did you grow? I, before we get to New York City and Miami, before uh, that, where, where else did you grow? Well, we've Jamaica? also gone into the west coast of Mexico. We're in an area called Avirstar, Avirstar Playa Mita. It's a beautiful property um, from in uh, Puerto Vallarta, in the whole area called the Riviera Nayarit. We're up there near the zone of Punta Mita. So it's a very beautiful area for surfing, great place for families. We built an amazing resort that's built on the side of the mountain going into the beach area. So it's beautiful views of, uh, of the Pacific there, and uh, the grounds are spectacular, nice rooms. All the rooms have great views, and then you have a, a championship Greg Norman golf course right next to the resort. Is the owner still uh, very involved, or his children? Mr. Fuchsia is still very involved. Uh, with the development of our, all of our hotels, and his children are as well. Yes, they're very, especially in the Americas, they're very much involved in that. With all the development that's coming up in Cuba, Mr. Fuchsia is very involved in that. How many properties there? We have 11 properties, and we're gonna be opening more properties this year in Cuba. The resorts? Yes. Predominantly. Any all plans resorts. for Havana? Havana, we have one of the best hotels in Havana called Iberia Star Park. Uh, Parque Central, which would be like Central Park, the Bear Star Central Park. It's a perfect location. 
That's where everyone's staying. If the hotel's sold out. It's getting rates higher than New York. <laughs> so for people to stay there because it's such a high demand in Nevada. Uh, How many rooms there? It's really uh, curious. 200 rooms. It's not a very big hotel. Uh, and there we're going to be, and in Havana we're also going to be building more hotels. The, there's an old hotel called the Riviera. Yes. And we just got the, the go-ahead to take over the Riviera, and we're going to start re remodeling that property. And I think that's going to be about four or five hundred rooms, and that's going to give us the most amazing position in, in Havana when we finish that hotel. Long shot. You ever heard of in Cuba, Trinidad Casilda? In the no, south? Hotel? Well, we no, have a hotel in the in south. Trinidad. In Trinidad? Yes. Cuba? Yes. Or we have the we have Trinidad, Cuba? Yes, we have the Iberostar Grand Trinidad in Cuba. 40 I, rooms. I grew up there for a year and a half. Oh, no. That's why I was saying a long shot. Well, you probably know this, but it's a 40 room boutique property. In a small no, hotel. no, no, no. I was just looking it up on the internet to see, you know, where it's at today. Because I haven't gone back. And it's in, in, in all the. Uh, Newspapers and travel journals say Trinidad is like the 1950s and, and you must visit it. Yes, it's very, very, I mean, with all the people to people that you have, requirement that you have to have for Cuba, uh, Trinidad is on that route. It's Still the same cobble the cultural st stone streets that I walked to get go to my Catholic not school, not changed. No, no, it's amazing. And then now to talk to Manhattan, this property here on Park Avenue, 70 Park Avenue, what's the strategy type? Into. Well, we're very excited with that. We feel like it's uh, it takes our brand to the next level. It, it gets more awareness in the U.S. market because you know the U.S. market's a, a strong market, but it's a very important market to be able to get positioned in correctly. And by being in New York, it's almost like a marketing in itself. Hey, with that location, you can't you can't beat that location. No, and we're we're trying to go into city in the city hotels where there's tourism. And this is more of a of a tourist corporate mix type of hotel because yep. like you said the you location. Can, you can pick up both. You can pick up both. So that's a big benefit for us. This is two blocks from Grand Central Station. Five Just everything. Empire State everything. A uh, quick walk to Broadway, t Times Square. When Madison's one block away. Yeah. And, and it's only 200 rooms. It's a beautiful resort, beautiful hotel. It's uh, the rooms are very nice, very large, you know, under New York standards. Um, yes, absolutely. And Miami. Yes, the Miami, the Berkeley Hotel, and that's on Collins Avenue. And it's uh, we took an Art Deco hotel. It was a small hotel, and then we built a tower. We're building a tower right behind it, so the overall it'll be about 120 rooms. And it's on Second Row, um, but it, I mean, it's like uh, in the perfect location of Collins Avenue, where the shopping area is and all the nice restaurants. So we're excited about that property. We have, a, you know, we, we have a very um, strong market in South America. So that's going to be a good property for them. Okay, this is uh, South America. You're you're quite a presence here. Yes. But is that are you filling it with North Americans or Europeans or both? You mean there are hotels there in Brazil? Yeah. Yes. Brazil, we're filling mainly with with uh, Brazilians. Ah. Some American. The Americans are going to. We have a luxury cruise ship that sails down the Amazon called the Star Grand Amazon, and that one is sold a lot by the American market. Wow, tourism. wow, wow. Uh, I suppose other than the Olympics and Carnival, the, the visa issue is a... Uh, it, it has been a challenge, a problem. we work around that. Mm -hmm. And air, airlift as well. Airlift. Airlift as well, yes, absolutely. John Long, Barrel Star. Thank you very much. That's a really great story. Oh, my pleasure, Charlie. Great to meet you as well. Thanks for the time.